A drunk driver hit two men, a woman and a two-month-old baby, on Choi Changba Bridge at around 2 a.m. on Monday, 5 December, causing at least three victims to be seriously injured. This incident has shocked the masses and generated great sympathy, especially for the mother and baby. This case has drawn an even more sympathy from the public upon learning that the baby had just been released from the hospital and had not yet fully recovered before suddenly encountering this shocking and life-threatening incident. Immediately after the accident occurred, the baby, mother, and one other man who was trying to care for the victims were rushed to a private hospital. The baby was rushed to Kantabopa Hospital with serious head injuries and was watched over by his grandmother. The drunk driver reportedly drove back home after the accident, where he was later found and arrested by the authorities. He has been fined two million real, according to Article 10 of the Law on Road Traffic under Sub Decree Number 39. The mother was hospitalized for less than a day before she asked to be discharged due to lack of funds for treatment, and because she also wanted to see her child, who was being treated at Kantabopa Hospital. Porn Phala, the director of the orphanage branch center, which provides support to poor children and orphans, was surprised to see that the baby who was in the car accident was the same baby that he had previously met at Kantabopa Hospital on 26 November 2022, when his grandmother brought him to the doctor for treatment for an abnormal condition. Out of compassion, Porn Phala volunteered to cover the medical expenses for the mother and her baby, and sent them both to another private hospital. As of Tuesday, 6 December, the mother's condition has improved slightly, while the baby's condition has worsened. The public has also raised hundreds of dollars for the victims, while the perpetrator and victims have agreed to a settlement of $2,500 for civil damages. The public have expressed displeasure over this small settlement, as they believe it is an injustice to the victims. Many have asked whether the lives of these three people are only worth a little more than two thousand dollars. The Minister of Information, Q. Kanyarit, has also expressed concern over this case and has asked the authorities to continue taking immediate action. Singer Van Nila also wrote a message on her Facebook account requesting Samdek Dekcho Sen volunteer lawyers and the Ministry of Justice to intervene in this case. Porn Phala also confirmed through a post on his Facebook page on Tuesday morning that he had received a call from a group of Samdek Dekcho Sen volunteer lawyers to help resolve the case. Four volunteer lawyers are reported to have visited the victims at the Kantabopa Hospital. Lawyer So Sok Buntet confirmed to EAC News that when a victim refuses to receive compensation from a perpetrator, the victim can ask the court to help seek more just and fair compensation. He added that the perpetrator could also face penalization under Article 85 of the Road Traffic Law, which states that anyone who drives recklessly and causes deaths will be sentenced to one to three years in prison and a fine of four million to fifteen million real. Furthermore, if a person is driving under the influence with a blood alcohol content of 0.08 percent or more, causes deaths from reckless driving, then flees the scene, the perpetrator will receive a sentence of two to five years in prison and will be fined 10 to 25 million real. Drunk drivers may also face penalization under Article 53 of the Criminal Law. Darshana Gauchan, EAC News.